This is going to be a way to check the tow on your tires. I'm doing my Ram 3500. So this is a quick easy way of doing it with a good flexible. This steel rule is just a straight edge. This uh, tape measure is what I'm going to use. So I've got the truck sitting here just in a gravel driveway. Uh, parking lot would be better but uh, these are general grabber tires they're good quality my wheels are all nice and straight no dents in the rim so I'm going to trust the tread so I'm going to pick a landmark on my tire I have a substantial object in this block of steel and you can see right there I'm picking the edge of that tread okay so now, I come around to the other side. So here I am on the other side. I'm using this block for reference, just to kind of make sure I'm at the right height. Um, you can see that I am, my reference point here is higher so I'm not gonna worry about it too much so I'm gonna stretch this rule out and I'm gonna do like this and I'm gonna measure to that edge so I'm gonna get 77 and a half inches to that edge now I'm going to do the same thing at the same location on the front of the tire. So here I am on the passenger side. I've got my substantial object, my block of steel. And again, I'm going to this sharper inner edge of the tire as a reference. Okay. This gives a dead man, so I have something to connect to. Now we'll go over to the other side. We're on the driver's side now. You can do this from the driver passenger. It doesn't really matter, you just gotta pick good landmarks on the tire to go with. So I will hook it my dead man over there and I will go see if I had a square reference point it would be a little bit easier but I will eyeball it and I'm seeing about it's right about there which is 77 and 3 8 so what I'm seeing there is about an eighth of an inch of toe in at that location on the tire. So let me show you something. Okay, so I want to show you this as far as getting your toe alignment. So this is my Ram 2500, 3500. This is how you set your alignment now here. I got a thread gauge and it reads uh, the one I grabbed is metric so it reads uh, one and a half on the pitch of the thread uh, this is how you adjust your alignment it's kind of a little complicated system but it works really well you loosen this clamp this is a 18 millimeter so you loosen this clamp and this is split and then this just turns on this tie rod. Okay, so we're going to try and be a little scientific about this. So we want to measure the length of our steering arm. So you want the inside of your tape measure right about the center of your ball joint. And then out here you want to measure to 
the center of this tie rod, which I get about six and a half inches. We'll call it six and a half inches. So now that we have measurements, I want to show what they mean on paper. The first thing I have to show is the toe that I took was at this particular pot, spot. I had a 4x4 four four block where I measured on the rear of the tire, a 4x4 four four block on the front of the tire. I measured them to be 24 inches apart. Toe is specified for a vehicle as a difference between this point at the rear of the tire and this point at the front of the tire. My tires that are made for my truck for a Ram 3500 uh, dual rear wheels are 32 inches. You have to know what your truck has. A regular single rear wheel 3500 has a different diameter tire, probably larger. So you have to know the diameter that originally came on your truck. So mine are 32 inches. I took my measurement at 24 inches. So to get the accurate talking point of toe in, you have to do a calculation of that ratio. 32 to 24, you get 1.33. Multiply that by the 1 8 inch that I measured, and you get a true toe out, or a true toe in, of 0.166 inches. Okay, so my true toe in is 0.166 inches, toed in at the front. So the next thing I did is I measured the pitch of the adjusting uh, tie rod. I only had a metric thread gauge handy, so I measured it at one and a half millimeter pitch, which is approximately 60 thousandths of an inch per turn. That's at that shaft. <coughs> so when you're making that adjustment, the steering arm is only six and a half inches. So when you make one revolution of 60 thousandths, you're working on a six and a half inch arm. So when you make that, to, let's say adjust for our toe, say we do one turn out. That moves it out 60 thousandths at this six and a half inch point. It also moves it in. So your actual toe reading is how far you move it out and how far you move it in. So you're doubling the number you get. So let's look at another calculation. So we know that, probably can't read this, but toe is a difference between the front and the rear measurement. And again, like I say, it's at the outer point of the tire that came on the car. Uh, we know our Ram trucks are supposed to have between 0 0.050 inches and 0 0.150 inches. Um, those people that run them, that know them, say put them dead on, put them at zero. So if we want to make that adjustment, moving the tie rod one turn at six and a half inches changes the wheel at the outside edge of the wheel, which is the diameter by two to get the radius. That would be from here to here. It changes that by a factor of 2.46. So you take that 16 inch radius, divide that by the length of the steering arm, and a movement at the steering arm is amplified to a factor of 2.46 at the front of the wheel. So one turn of the thread, 0 0.060 times 2.46 is 0.148 at the front. Now, because toe is a difference between the front and the rear, when we make an adjustment on our steering arm, we push this out, we pull this in. So we really get double that, um, or essentially you would get a change of 0.295 overall per turn on my dual rear wheel 3500. So my 1 8 inch, which I corrected, because of where I measured it, my 1 8 inch, which is 0.167, divided by that 0.295 per turn, gives me about 0.566 turns that I have to make to adjust the toe. I have to make that shaft longer, because it was towed in, I have to make that shaft longer by approximately one half a turn to uh, get that. Now, of course, the best way to do it would be to mark the shaft with a, like a bright yellow paint marker, and then turn it your half turn. Now, now me, I just grabbed it. You can grab it and remeasure. That's fine, too. Uh, but just as an idea, so you're not going back and forth all over the place. Now, I do want to comment because people are not going to like that. I didn't use my Teflon uh, cookie sheets stolen from my kitchen to put under the wheels. I've seen people use cardboard. They've used uh, two sheets of cardboard, Teflon, cookie sheets, sheets of plastic, all kinds of stuff. Well, I'm not moving it that much. And folks, it's so easy to measure. You can actually take the vehicle and roll it forward and backward after you make your adjustment. Just back it up and pull it forward again. It's no big deal. Um, you don't need to jack it up and set it down because honestly jacking it up and setting it down y You can load the tire sideways or something you want a true reading as it's going down the road So basically when you make your uh, measurement you want to pull the truck forward uh, You want to have the steering forward as much as you can and have it roll one revolution. Let's say uh, 90 inches something like that uh, that way you can uh, Make sure that 
all the loads, all the uh, slip angles, anything that's there is, is gone. Now, obviously, we try to measure up far enough that things that happen at the contact patch to distort the tire are not a factor when we're taking our tone measurement at this point, or ideally it would be at this point. Um, so, yeah, that's that's about it. Um, again, sorry for my, my poor writing. Uh, I learned to write well, but I just can't do it. So, um, hope this helps. Hope this is some good insight. Um, but this is truth. Is If anybody wants to argue about it, they can put in the comments. They can put their thing, and I'll respond. Uh, if I'm totally wrong, explain why I'm totally wrong. And I'll tell you what I think. So I'll tell you why I think I'm right. So, yep, uh, set it at zero. Measure it with a tape. It's probably easier than strings now. Of course, the, the string method, too, that can help you set your steering wheel straight because you want the steering wheel uh, set straight forward. You want your steering box set straight forward. If you if you make a toe adjustment, and this is more important on other cars that have, uh, uh, you do your toe adjustment at each wheel because uh, you want your steering wheel straight. Um, it's important that it's straight because of the valving in the steering box for the... Uh, uh, now, I may be completely wrong here, but the valving for the power steering, uh, the place on the uh, on the steering sector, uh, that may need to be in a certain place. It may not. depends on your steering box. It depends on your rack. But, but ideally, you do want it in the center of the rack. You want the same number of turns to the left as you have to the right. And so you do want <coughs> that correct. So if you set up the strings and you have two tie rods to adjust, you can then use those strings as a reference. If your strings are parallel to the center line of the vehicle, you can use the strings to adjust each wheel to get that zero. But again, you can see here how a small measurement. Now, uh, I do want to say that, you know, let's just take a clean spot of paper here. When your wheel is towed out like this, and you take your measurement here and here, and you're trying to get it to zero, so you make a correction to here. So <clears throat> this measurement here, in this measurement here, you've got two measurements you're taking in this case. Those have to be accurate. If your error in measuring, and this gets into engineering, but there's a whole class on error in measuring, measuring, a whole semester. Your error in measuring at each point can add up. It can go, all go in the wrong direction. Hopefully it equals out so it doesn't matter. But yeah, your error... In measuring, especially if it's the same person doing it, they can err on each one. So if you err here, you err here. You're only looking for zero to an eighth inch of toe out. So if your your error has to be smaller than that. <clears throat> so let's say you have a tie rod here and a tie rod here. So so and you're going off the string. So now you measure this wheel and this wheel to get it straight. You measure this wheel and this wheel, and you want to get it straight. So you're taking one, two, three, four measurements based upon strings that you set up using one, two measurements. So, I mean, in the whole mix, you've got six, seven measurements you've had to take to get that accurate. Um, you got to be very careful on each measurement. And if you're not, if you make a mistake, each one can add up to six times your error. So, honestly, doing it with this tape measure is only two measurements. You can have only two mistakes. So, it's probably a better way to do it. But, like I say, this is only a rough way to do it in as much as you're not checking each wheel against the center line of the vehicle. You're checking it because if you have two wheels turned to the right, you measure here, you measure here, you get zero. But they're both turned to the right compared. You're not checking for center line. So, uh, again, if you want to get that technical, you can take it to a shop. You have to trust the shop, and you got to pay the 100 bucks. So, hope this helps, and good luck.